Hello everyone. Welcome on your own channel the engineer Shunya Sa. Friends today in this video we will going to discuss how calculate the cutting length of stirrup or ties for column or beam. So friends there are different different types of stirrups are using in construction work today here. We are going to learn how to calculate the cutting length of stirrups for various shapes. Remember the transverse bars provided in the column are known as ties and the transverse bars provided in the beam are known as stirrups. But on site generally we use the same term stirrup for both mounts. Stirrups are used in beams to counteract shear failure and to hold the longitudinal bars in position. Dear friends following points should be remembered when calculating cutting length of stirrups. 1. Study the size of a beam or column on drawings. 2. Check the diameter of the bar given for stirrups mostly 8 mm diameter is used for stirrups. 3. Subtract the clear cover or concrete cover. Chart. Calculate the total perimeter outer length for the stirrup by deducting the concrete cover. Patch. Then add the hook length to the outer length of the stirrup. Chair. Now subtract the length of bends. Cutting length of rectangular stirrup. The rectangular shape is most common and generally used for beams and columns in many structures. This shape column and beam have rectangular shaped stirrups. Thanks for watching like share and subscribe